What's up guys, Ed Demko here, Blood Type Online YouTube channel, and this is another installment of our new series here on the YouTube channel called Review in Blue, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the first one that we did uh, with Dawn of the Dead, but uh, today we're actually moving a little bit out of the horror genre um, and into, well, I don't really know what kind of cult film genre I guess you would call it. Um, and we're going to be talking about one of my favorite films, and this is going to be on the Blu-ray aspect of things as well. This is the ultimate director's cut of a great film from 1979 from director Walter Hill. This is The Warriors. Um, I had seen this movie a long time ago on, on cable or on TV or something, and, and probably when I was about 12 or 13 years old for the first time. And I absolutely fell in love with this movie. Um, I think it's brilliant. It's a great film. If you've never seen The Warriors, you owe it to yourself. And I don't care what format it is, watch The Warriors. You have to see it. It's a great movie. But um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Blu-ray. Because uh, obviously I've just recently gone high def, if you will. And I've been looking for some cool Blu-rays to buy. And once I seen this in the store, I was like, I gotta pick up The Warriors. You know what I mean? Especially because uh, another cool thing, if you guys watched the uh, the review in blue I did for the original Dawn of the Dead DVD, um, you probably heard me talk about how a lot of the special features on films that are on Blu-ray are not in high def. They're just standard definition. This is one uh, as well that has HD features too, and it has some cool ones. I'll talk about that in a second, but um, the cool thing about this one I've never seen this movie look this good. It looks fantastic from beginning to end. Um, the colors and just the, the contrast and the way how how deep everything is and how precise the images are. Um, it was really impressive. I have to say that this is, out of all the stuff that I've ever seen on Blu-ray, this, oh, tired, so excuse me, and Dawn of the Dead um, are two of the best, like, looking Blu-rays I've seen. Um, this is, however, uh, the first time that I've ever seen the director's cut of The Warriors. And if you guys are unfamiliar with the director's cut of The Warriors, what, basically what Walter Hill uh, says, because on here there is a introduction to the film by him, an introduction into his director's cut uh, by Walter Hill, he says that he had more of a comic book feel uh, that he wanted to do for the movie, but at the time they couldn't afford to really do anything like that. Um, and he, they, they didn't have the money, they didn't have the, the, you know, the special technology they needed to put in, like the comic book squares and stuff like that, like he wanted to do. So, essentially, what they do is they go back into this version, the original version, and to make this, what they do is they put in these little comic book inserts, you know, like your panels, your comic book panels, like two, three, four, you know, with different stories, and then it wipes and goes into the scene from the movie. Um, personally, I didn't like that. Um, it didn't ruin the movie experience by any means for me, but um, I like the original uh, version of the film a lot better, uh, just due to the fact that it seems a lot more gritty and a lot, uh, a lot more realistic, even. Because uh, whenever they do those wipes and stuff like that in the movie, it's, it, it doesn't add anything. It's it adds another dimension to the film that wasn't there before that is kind of unnecessary. But I mean, I always say this: uh, you should always see the director's cut of a film. But for the Warriors, it's actually one of the few times uh, that I don't agree with my own advice. So I would actually say uh, that the original is a better uh, better production. But it doesn't ruin it. Um, this is, I believe, the only way you can buy the movie on Blu-ray, so I'd rather just have the movie than not have it, um, regardless of how much I liked it or not. But uh, the special features actually on here are really cool. And they're all in HD, like I said. Um, but it has four featurettes on the movie. Uh, one's called The Beginning, another one's called Battleground, another one's called The Way Home, and the final one is uh, uh, Keep Yawning. Because I don't sleep regularly like a normal human being, so bear with me. But uh, these four features are really, really good. They're really extensive, have a lot of cool interviews, track down a lot of the cast. Um, Michael Beck is on here, um, who played Swan. 
uh, James Remar plays Ajax, uh, does some interviews on here as well. Walter Hill involved in in the film, and uh, you know Deborah von Valkenberg gets interviewed too. So I thought that was really cool. But they really pull out a lot of cool stuff and a lot of cool special features for this one, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I would say to most people out there, if you were considering whether or not it would be worthwhile to update your copy on DVD, this is what I would say to you. Um, first off, have you ever seen the director's cut? And if so, do you like it better than the original, or do you even like it? Um, if the answer is no, then I'm going to say obviously uh, skip out on the the Blu-ray because if you don't, if you genuinely don't like the director's cut, then you're not going to want this, regardless of how nice it looks. Uh, because apparently that bothers you a little too much, and I can understand that, even though it doesn't bother me that much. Um, totally can understand, but uh, personally, I would say it's worth picking up, um, especially if you already have the director's cut and you like the director's cut. Um, this Blu-ray looks fantastic. It's absolutely wonderful looking. Um, I was really impressed with the colors and, like I said, just the, the specifics uh, in the picture. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff about their environment, which is really the reason to yawn. Not really, but it's the reason to watch this film because it has a really thick, cool New York environment. And uh, it comes through as clear as it's ever been here on the Blu-ray. So, I mean, even if you don't like uh, the director's cut all that much, it might even be worth uh, trying to rent a copy of it just to see the film in HD because it looks fantastic. So, um, definitely recommend this one. Pick up the words. If you don't have it at all, then go pick this up. This movie is just badass beyond belief. So, um, definitely would recommend a purchase on the Blu-ray of The Wallace. I uh, love this movie. It's a great movie. And uh, it's another one that I would definitely recommend. Um, you know, I paid about 20 bucks for it, which is a little bit more than I would have liked to pay for it, but it was totally worth it. Um, I know you could probably find it online cheaper, but uh, I had money burning a hole in my pocket after I bought the, uh, the Blu-ray player, so I just had to pick it up. But that's our second installment here of Review in Blue. I hope you guys are really enjoying these, especially as much as I enjoy doing them. Uh, don't forget to check me out over at www.bloodtypeonline.com where all my written reviews are. Uh, you can hear me uh, on the Gut Munchers podcast at www.gutmunchers.com. And thanks for joining us here on the YouTube channel. Uh, we've got a lot, of, a lot of cool videos coming out for you guys. So uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching. See you again later.